Yeah, very, very, very difficult to put it into words, um, but there is more trepidation, probably is the best word to describe it, at the Isle of Man TT races than anywhere else. Um, for a number of reasons, I think one is that um, it's a completely unique circuit um, and I don't feel that I ever completely learnt it because it's 37 and 3 quarters miles round. It's got 275 corners, I believe. So I was always a little concerned that there was something that I didn't know about the circuit. Whereas if you went to Donington Park or Silverstone or even the Le Mans circuit or most sh what I call short circuits, Brands Hatch, you, I would know where the banding across the track is where they've repaired a piece. I would know exactly where the kerb was a bit bumpy on the inside, all those things that you, you, know, you know because you've been around Brands Hatch so many times, Donington Park so many times. But of course the Isle of Man being 37 and three quarters miles round, you don't do lap after lap after lap because you couldn't, it takes too long. It's about, when I was doing it, somewhere around 18, 19 minutes. So there was that part of it that was concerning in your head, or for me it was, there was the reliability factor because it was so hard on, on bikes because of the bumps and the jumps and the mountains and the humpback bridges and everything else. So there was always that in the back of your mind if something breaks and falls off. There was also the fact that the TT races are held over two weeks. So you got there at the beginning of one week and you practiced the whole week. You had a bit of a gap and then you raced the whole week. You know, one race on Monday, one on Wednesday, one on Friday, that type of thing. And you also knew that if you made a mistake, uh, there was a very good chance that it could be a very serious mistake, you know, it could be the ultimate mistake where you killed yourself. But I'm never too sure um, the nerves that I got were purely about killing myself there. There was that point on the ferry going out there, and you had to go on the ferry because you had a truck and your bikes and everything else, so uh, as a competitor I would always go on the ferry with my mechanics and everything else. Um, and there would be a lot of other riders on there going out there, and there was that point where you didn't want to say to yourself, but subliminally, subconsciously, you were looking around thinking, I wonder who's not coming home this year? Because unfortunately, statistically, 1.8 or two people died every year at the TT, and it unfortunately still goes on to this day. But I think a lot of your nerves come from inwardly wanting to live up to your expectations to do as well as you expect yourself to do. It's an internal pressure you put on yourself that I don't want to disappoint myself. To make yourself achieve, uh, and I didn't want to let myself down. So there was a whole element of things that went in. One, it was a two week long, and so what you didn't want to do is go out there spending two weeks and not do well in the race. Secondly, you knew that if you made a mistake, it could be the ultimate mistake. And I think thirdly, the fact that the track conditions and knowledge of it was different because the other thing you have to remember that going around 37 three quarters miles there could be a dog on the road there could be a pheasant jumping out in front of you there could be a sheep up on the mountain there could be fog on the mountain there could be rain in one area and sunshine in another area so it's like going around a, a whole country nearly it was that long and up and down and everything else and bikes broke a lot they you know, snapped wheels and axles and all sorts of things went on so Arguably the most exciting thing I've ever done in my whole life and ever likely to do is racing at the TT and I never won it, I finished on the podium twice but um, it was something rather special. I'll look back with fond memories and I'm still pleased to be involved with it commentating to this day.